about it. Don't know whether to sing about it or to rap about it. I don't want to cry about it, but I can't laugh about it. I promise y'all don't even really know the half about it. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Don't know whether to sing about it or to rap about it. I don't want to cry about it, but I can't laugh about it. I promise y'all don't even really know the half about it. Hey, what it do, what it here for? You already know how I'm rocking, plus you be, bruh. If it was G5, it was you who I was hitting up. Y'all woke y'all answer, but if y'all ain't, then y'all getting up. I told you my plans, you told me they weren't big enough. You said, listen, strike, it ain't gonna be nobody big as up. You said, listen, strike, it ain't gonna be nobody big as you. The place the God got for you, I'm just helping get you to. But tell me how this situation turned critical. No phone call, no Facebook. I don't need help from you. Whatever you got on your chest or your mind, I don't know. But that don't change the fact that I'm here for you. See me, I wouldn't ray like that. I would talk that if it family don't play like that. Before you sit down, make sure they don't sit wrong. This is not a diss track, just something to vent on. Oh. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Don't know whether to sing about it or to rap about it. I don't want to cry about it, but I can't laugh about it. I promise y'all don't even really know the half about it. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. I don't know what to sing about it. I don't rap about it. But I can't laugh about it. I promise y'all don't even really know the half about it. We've been rocking since we were chicks. I would bro, you a sister. They were looking for me. Then you were probably who I would win. Black ain't no getting rich. Scheming and hitting leaks. We went from thugging the club and then all of a sudden we switched. Like, yeah, yo, we came to the right side. We chose the right time to let our light shine. I could relate to you. Your heart was like mine. We felt the same thing. We had a like mine. But somehow this situation turned critical. No phone call, no Facebook. I don't need help. Whatever you got on your chest and your mind, I don't know, but uh, that don't change the fact that I'm here for you. See me, I wouldn't ray like that. I would talk that if it family don't play like that. Before you sit down, make sure they don't sit wrong. This is not a diss track, just something to vent on. Oh. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Don't know whether to sing about it or to rap about it. I don't want to cry about it, but I can't laugh about it. I promise y'all don't even really know the half about it. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Don't know whether to sing about it or to rap about it. I don't want to cry about it, but I can't laugh about it. I promise y'all don't even really know the half about it. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. I don't know what to sing about it or to rap about it. I can't laugh about it. I promise you, I don't even really know the half about it. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it. I don't know what to sing about it. I don't know about it. I don't know what to do. But I can't laugh about it. I promise you, I don't even really know the half about it. What it do? What it do, y'all? We in the building, man. G2G. Early in the morning. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple things to, uh, you know, get across the board. I uh, see a lot of people in the building, a lot of familiar faces. Um, I hope all, all y'all having a great, great morning. Um, couple things we got to go over, man. Um, we have to go over this. The, the U.S. Army, soldiers, Marines. All of that and kind of open everybody's eyes up to the truth behind that aspect. And we're going to dipple and dabble into Zachary Valley a little bit this morning. And, you know, just basically uh, expound on truth. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate the green heart, y'all. I appreciate the love. appreciate the support. Um, Another thing, too, if um, if somebody named of Teresa Martinez is in here, put a one in the box. Teresa Martinez, if you're in here, put a one in the box. All right. <clears throat> so what are we going to do? We're going to kick it off like this, y'all. We're going to bring somebody into the courtroom early. Thank you, Sam, up on the screen. But before I do that, I want to put this disclaimer up here. Where is it? Right here. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, and or videos, descriptions under certain circumstances without authorization of the copyright holder. 
This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 USC 107. And a lot of times these YouTubers will put their name on videos and they think that that's copyright. And they think that they can uh, go to YouTube and say, look, I copyrighted this video. I put my name on. That's not copyright. It's not legal copyright. That's not copyright under the 17 USC 107 Act. So it is what it is, man. Um, but whatever I distribute, it will be in fair use, educational purposes of teaching uh, only. <clears throat> All right. So now that we got that out the way, we're going to pull it in this courtroom right here. And we're going to smack that Mr. Andrew Holmes <coughs> right up there on the stand. All right. So I thank you for being here, Mr. Andrew Holmes. But you have to be turned into bone dust like everybody else. All right. Uh, we had Teresa up here. We had uh, Rami Emanuel, Jedediah, Zach Yavelli, the girl who supposedly filmed the Zach Yavelli event. But now it's supposed to be a guy who filmed the event. First it was a girl. Then it was a guy. How many people filmed the Zach event, man? Don't nobody know. All right. And they still won't find the killer. Just like they haven't found the killer of Andrew Holmes' daughter. We're going to get to that in a minute, Mr. Holmes. But I want to start off slow with you. Because we got to slice you real thin, deli style. You feel what I'm saying? How old are you, Mr. Holmes? Well, uh, uh, I'm 52. Well, you look 80. All right. But we're going to keep on going, though. Did you or did you not see a girl walking on the Crown Plaza footage into a freezer where she trapped herself and died? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did. I did see that. I did see that. Uh, let me rephrase that. Did you see Kanika? walking into the freezer because i noticed mr andrew holmes when you did that video where you was throwing up the mason signs and you had that blue shirt on with that lazy collar in that hot room with uh jamal green you said i saw the girl on the footage you never said kanika so i'm asking you was that kanika you saw on the footage or not andrew holmes well uh uh well, I'm, 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 I'm gonna just say it like this i saw a girl in a jean outfit right they told us that the last outfit that she had on was the jean outfit, right? Hair down straight. So I'm thinking who I saw on the camera was presumably uh, Kanika. Okay, so you don't know. That's what you're telling me. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. In a sense, I it, it it don't ring a bell. It don't ring a bell. All right, okay. Why did you throw the Mason hand sign when you was in that little small room with that with that weak collar on that blue shirt? Um. I don't know. I don't I don't recall. What are you talking about? All right, we're gonna keep going. You don't recall putting your hands in Mason Masonic signs? Okay, all right, got you. Did you or did you not tell them to stop protesting because the Crown Plaza is losing money? Well, I I I do recall that. Um telling them to stop protesting because the hotel wasn't making any money, you know. Um Mr. Holmes. Why would you be concerned with how much money the hotel is making after a gruesome act in which y'all say a, a woman was raped and, 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 you know, drugged, beaten, thrown in the freak? Come on, man. Why are you even worried about if they get money for the rest of their life? They should be shut down, right? Compared, I mean, you know. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You know what? I don't know why I said that. I, I really don't know why. I'm, I'm thinking right back in my head now, and I don't know why I told them to stop protesting so that the hotel can make their money. I don't know why. See, you know you don't messed up, right? See, I messed up in the script. You did too much. You threw something in there that wasn't supposed to be in there. It ain't no way y'all should have said that. No way y'all should have said that. Y'all messed up. Yeah, I messed up. And Mr. Holmes, in your 12 years of service in the city of Chicago, being an activist, I heard that you was in the midst of gunfire, all that. Now, and you survived. Then it comes on later, your daughter was in the midst of gunfire, just like you were. Who writes these stories, Mr. Holmes? Uh, no, no, no. Don't even answer that question. That's a rhetorical question right now. What I want to ask you is, um, in your 12 years of service, when have you ever not seen crime scene tape at a crime scene? You know what? Um... I don't think I've ever seen, not seen crime scene tape. So let me ask you this, Mr. Holmes, who would, who would uh, uh, clear that 
for no crime scene tape to be at a crime scene? Who 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 would have the power to clear that? Mm, well, you know that that's above my pay rate there. But uh, if I had to answer that, if it, if it had to ring a bell to me, it had to be Rami Manuel. Yeah, Rami Manuel would be the only one who could uh make sure there's no crime scene tape on a crime scene. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Thank you. You know what, Mr. Holmes, you done you done very you done very well. You've done very well up on the stand here. Uh, but I have to ask you something else too. Um, what is what is wrong with the police in the city of Chicago? It seems like no case presented to the public ever gets solved. I mean, even down to your daughter's case. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Exhibit A. Exhibit A. Okay. So, Mr. Holmes, look up on the screen here, Mr. Holmes. These are the two dudes that y'all tried to claim were the assailants who killed your daughter. What, your, what is your daughter's name? Your daughter's name is Miss Sword. Her last name is Sword. Yours is Holmes. We'll get to that later. But listen, these are the two guys that y'all brought in. First, um, one of them supposed to be Mr. Michael Edwards, 33, and Kenneth Jones, 28. But we found out what happened later because I already knew that they was pulling our leg with that. Let's get this up right here. <clears throat> Indianapolis, Indiana. All right. Marion County prosecutors have dropped charges against two men accused of killing the daughter of a Chicago anti-violence activist on Indianapolis West last summer. <coughs> All right. So it says Michael Edwards and Kenneth Jones were jailed last month. Right here. Yeah, see? Y'all see how they how, how they let them in the front door, then let them slide right on out the back door. Remember I told y'all that we was trying to do that with uh, Monifa? They were actually going to uh, apprehend Monifa and a couple guys. Because do y'all not remember Miss uh, Daily Diane? Daily Diane. She was the uh, like correctional officer, security guard, whatever. She made a video, y'all, to myself. Somebody finna get locked up, y'all. Somebody finna get locked up. Fucking nigga, that. Da, 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 da. Kenneth, her brother Kenneth, some he got to worry about dropping the soap in jail. Y'all remember that? And she said that there was actually video footage that the FBI have that um it is it, showing three people carrying her into the freezer. Y'all remember that? See, what they was going to do, y'all, they was going to have a couple people go down for this Kanika thing, put them in jail, imprison them, and have them slide right on out the back door, change their name, look, everything, and it was over. it'd be over with. And this is what they tried to do with this Andrew Holmes. The killers of Andrew Holmes' daughter still haven't been found. So, okay, they were jailed last month for the murder of Tamara Sword. After a witness came forth, explained to the police that the mother of five was caught in a literal crossfire between two rival DJ rappers. Now, uh, Andrew Holmes was also caught in crossfire, y'all. This is what I'm Hold on, let me see. So you mean to tell me you and your daughter were caught in crossfire? Okay. Andrew Holmes' daughter caught in crossfire. Uh, anyway, I ain't got time to dig for it, but Andrew Holmes um, was caught in crossfire also, and that was that's what le- he said. That's what that's what led him to become an activist in the city of Chicago. It's the fact that he was caught in crossfire. All right, so we go from there to here. It appears that. It appears that witness or another key one has backed out on his or her agreement to cooperate with investigators. So there was a witness, supposedly, but they backed out. They don't want to even cooperate with the uh, investigators uh, when it comes to Andrew Holmes' daughter's death. Just mysteriously. They don't even want to talk no more, right? Well, they had to dismiss dismiss the case. They dismissed the case, y'all, on Andrew Holmes' daughter. So, and I think this was like 2016, right? So Andrew Holmes lost his daughter, right? Teresa supposedly lost her son. Then Teresa turned around and lost her daughter. Um, Lenora lost her baby daddy. Look, um, okay. Listen, y'all, what's the coincidence of all these people dying around them within like three years? Three years, y'all. Andrew Holmes' daughter dies. One second. (laughs) 
So yeah, three years, y'all. Andrew Home daughter died. Lenora baby daddy died. Ter uh, Teresa's son and daughter. So it's like, what is going on, man? I'm telling y'all what's going on, man. They're offing these people for gain. And you might sit there and say, why would they off their own daughters? That's my question too. Like what, what, what gets in a mind to make them off their seed? These people are monsters, man. They're monsters. You mean to tell me supposedly one of the greatest activists in the city of Chicago cannot even find out who killed his baby? But you got Jamal Green putting out a thousand dollar reward to who can tell who can put out information on who killed Zach. Thousand dollar reward, Jamal Green. Where's the ten thousand, hundred thousand dollar reward for anybody who can say put any any type of information on what happened to Andrew Holmes' daughter? What happened to that, man? You feel what I'm saying? These people are monsters, man. I'm telling y'all. Straight up monsters. Hold up. All right, so this is what we about to do. <clears throat> I'm gonna give a couple shout outs and then we're gonna get straight into this uh the army thing that I was trying to um uh, present. I wanna shout out the Southern Peach, Jeezy Baby. LaVey, Sassy, Emma Griffith, Mama Not Having It, What's Good, Yelena Harrison, I See You Queen, uh, who else, Anointed, Bodacious, Shanika Ryan, Tasha Washington, What's Good, Goddess Royalty, It's Good to See, Oh, boy, we got out, we got the All-Stars in here, we got the G2G All-Stars in here today, y'all, DD Lump, What's Good, Conscious Minds, What's Good, Lysandra, What's Good, Jahira, Laquetta, How You Doing? How you doing? Now, I want to play this for y'all real quick here. And I want to leave y'all, and this, this right here is the quote for today. Only hurt people hurt people. Okay? That's the quote for today. Only hurt people hurt people. Okay, now. Let's get to, let me check what we want to do here. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Now, nah, we're going to pause that. We'll use this one right here. Now, it, it's got a little vulgarity. It's got a, got, got a little cursing in here, whatever, y'all, but bear with me. But this right here is a stand-up from Cat Williams that I was telling y'all about. And well, just listen to what he said. Cat Williams was targeted. Y'all, um, let me put this up real quick. Cat Williams was targeted because what Cat Williams been doing is he's been mixing knowledge. He was. But, oh, yeah, they have put him back under MK Ultra, and he is submissive once again. But at one point, he was telling us all the goodies, y'all. Now, like I said, this do has this does have cursing. So if you have kids in the room, you would not that you don't want to hear, you know, a couple of vulgar words or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Which I, I you know, which is good to remove them. But just listen to what he say though. Over there killing niggas in sweatpants, tank tops. Gangsters, tell me what the some goddamn bullets. We don't give a shit. We be on CNN like. That's how the fuck our government treat us. Just tell us shit don't make no sense. What the fuck are we still doing in Iraq? Can somebody tell me and we killed everybody? That's why I love America. We some goddamn bullies. We don't give a shit. We be on CNN like, say our name, bitch. Say it. Say it three times. Let's see if we don't come over there and kill everybody. You don't believe we gangsters? Tell me what the Iraqi uniform look like. Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Cause you ain't never seen that motherfucker. We ain't killing they army, nigga. We killing them. We over there killing niggas in sweatpants, tank tops, flip flops, and a cowboy hat. You shouldn't have been talking shit. Now, even though a lot of people laughed at this right here, man, what he was saying was so, so true. Cat Williams is smart. He knows how to do his comedy in a way where he can put truth and make the truth funny. So to the average person, it'll go over their head. But to those who are woke, He's talking to them. You know what I'm saying? 
I told y'all yesterday, the U.S. soldiers, the Marines, all of them, that's the biggest gang and the most corrupt gang in the world. In the world. They rape women. They, 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 they fight countless wars, useless wars. And I'm going to get ready to play out some clips after this of everything being explained. And I got a future interview coming up on my panel that y'all going to really enjoy also. But let me just run this back one more again, and then we're going to get into some ex-U.S. soldiers telling y'all the truth about who y'all think are heroes right here on American soil. And they're actually the enemy. That's how the fuck our government treat us. Just tell us shit don't make no sense. What the fuck are we still doing in Iraq? Can somebody tell me hey, we killed everybody? That's why I love America. We some goddamn bullies. We don't give a shit. We be on CNN like, say our name, bitch. Say it. Say it three times. To see if we don't come over there and kill everybody. You don't believe we gangsters? Tell me what the Iraqi uniform look like. Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Cause you ain't never seen that motherfucker. We ain't killing they army, nigga. We killing them. We over there killing niggas in sweatpants, tank tops, flip flops, and a cowboy hat. You shouldn't have been talking shit. Now, they will send you a picture or send us pictures over here with uh, the Iraqis when they were over there with guns in their hand. They were trying to defend themselves. Crazies. If you come into my land, you storm into my land, you setting up post headquarters in my land. I look up, the U.S. got a whole post in the headquarters out there with tanks and uh, 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 convoys and all that. I'm going to defend myself, too. And they sent up there saying, come out, come out. Uh, uh, we, we here to take over. And, yo, I'm going to defend myself, too. And then they, they, they got photographers out there, y'all. The U.S. don't just take soldiers. They take photographers. <laughs> they got photographers in the field making sure they get the pictures. Oh, yeah. Then they come back and say, yeah, yeah, they, they threats, y'all. We over here looking for weapons of mass destruction. What weapons of mass destruction, man? You mean to tell me it took y'all three years to find the weapons of mass destruction in a small area? You feel what I'm saying? But you overdraft your credit card, they could find you over here in the U.S. in a second, right? <laughs> they know when you overdraft them credit cards. They know. Red flag coming to the system, but they couldn't find weapons of mass destruction in three years. Man, y'all better get out of here, man. Y'all better get out of here, man. Look at this evil stuff just popped up on my screen. Crazy, ain't it? Watch this, though. Hey, it only, it, it only get better, y'all. It only get better. I think this is the one I want to uh, I want to put up right here. Oh, no, not that one yet. Not that one yet. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's a good one, too. But this one right here, though. All right. To all the so right here, you have a ex soldier speaking out now. Don't believe people coming up saying, man, don't believe what Cho's saying. So hold on. You're going to believe this ex soldier. So don't believe what Cho say. Believe this ex-soldier then, all right? Those serving in the Army, in the Marines, in the Air Force, in the Navy, that you have the absolute right to refuse to take part in these criminal wars, and that's the right that all of you should exercise. You have no reason to go put your life on the line and kill and die for profit. We've been to Iraq. We've been to Afghanistan. And we know what these wars are really about. And we joined the military for many reasons. And we joined the military... What these wars are really about we've been to afghanistan and we know what these wars are really about and we joined the military for many reasons because we need a college education because we need a job because we need health care and then we joined the military and that's why i don't blame every single soldier who don't know what who didn't know what they was getting into the ones who i do blame are the ones who got in this mess and then that they, they sold it they they, they 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 made an oath to serve the Bothamit, and then they don't speak out about it. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones I blame, not the ones who saw the corruption going on, saw the fake wars, saw the raping, the killing that they've been doing to people overseas and these fake wars, and then they spoke out. I don't blame them. They are courageous. I support them. The ones who I blame are the ones who still down with the coonery, man. But go ahead. Keep going, ex-soldier. Terry, and they tell us that our enemies are poor people in caves in Afghanistan. Or poor people in the deserts of Iraq 
but we've been to those countries and we know that our enemies are not other poor people abroad. Our enemies are the people that laid us off from our jobs, that denied us health care, that make it impossible to get an education. Our enemies are not in the poorest countries on the planet, but right here in the richest one. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And do y'all, this man speaking 100 percent do y'all know how the U.S. got rich the way it is right now? This is because way back, the U.S. had all the other countries loan them money. They All the countries loaned them gold, bullion, money, coins, in hopes that the U.S. would one day pay them back or pay them. They, they lied to them. The U.S. lied. And then once the U.S. got everybody's money, they started flexing their muscle like we bigger than y'all. We can make 14 nuclear missiles a day and all this. Other this. Now they going and they beating up on the same people who, who, who donated them money way back for them to establish themselves, man. U.S. cricket, man. The U.S. is cricket. Oh. Ah! 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 The occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan alone are costing... Over seven now, people like him speaking out, he's a threat to the new world order. People like me, I'm like a junior threat. Like, you know, he has a bigger voice. He's going to be the first one, one of the ones that they come after to silence him and everybody who's trying to get people together, rally people together for the truth. Those are the ones that they're going to come after first. We're going to get to that in a minute when I go over this uh, guy's video who's been living off the grid for X amount of years. $700 million every single day. This is so notice what the ex soldier said. We are using seven, uh, like roughly $700 million a day. That this, this is something they don't tell you. Now watch what he going to say. He going to say, look, the 700 million can go here. It can go here. It can go here. It can go here. It's a crime every single day while so many of us are hurting. Well, I think all of us here and the vast majority of people in this country would agree that we can spend $700 million a day better than bombing people that we have no reason to bomb. We can spend $700 million a day rebuilding those countries we've destroyed. We can spend $700 million a day caring for the veterans we get home when they get home and then we can spend... This is how you can tell the U.S. don't give a crap about the homeless people here in the world because they say, look, it's balance. Having poor people, middle class, and, and rich, it's a balance. But now, 2018, even middle middle class are considered poor. It's really only two classes now, rich and poor. The middle class is struggling. I mean, look, man, it's, 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 only, it's no more middle. It used to be different classes, like poor, almost poor, but right there and middle class and right above middle class and then rich. Now, it's only like two levels now because of the angle in which society has went. That's it. But what he's saying is they... The, the U.S. can 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 really sell like five nuclear missiles and feed the homeless people in like two states. All the homeless people in like two states sell like four of your nuclear missiles. That's it. Sell them, and you can feed like the homeless people in two states over here. They don't care. They say the poor people make balance. Seven hundred million dollars a day, mm. giving every single person. Healthcare, a college education, a job, and a livelihood, and a home. That's who we need to be spending our money on. But this government is not going to do that. They're not going to use the money in that way. They're not going to end the wars. And they're not going to do it because it's not our government. It's their government. It's the government of the rich. It's the government of Wall Street, of the oil giants, of the defense contractors. It's their government, and the only language that they understand is shutting down business as usual. And that you know what? And then people still say, oh, y'all lying. That ex-soldier lying and chosen is lying. I love this country. This country, tears of thee, rich land and liberty. Uh-huh. Everybody entitled to an acre and a mule, right? But don't everybody got it, though. That's what we're doing here today, and we're going to continue to do until these wars are over. <laughs> well, it's crystal clear now that these wars are going to continue 
and expand and go into other countries. That is the trend. That is what we know, that there is perpetual war. And it's only going to stop if the people stand up and stop it. And that's what we're going to do, sisters and brothers. And a lot of people ask me, what do we do? Because we all know things are bad. We all see the atrocities on TV. We read about it. We experience it. People always ask, what do I do? Because we always want to know what to do. Do we vote? Do we support a politician? Uh, what, you know, do we join an organization? What do we do? Well, I'll tell you what we do. It's simple. We fight. We fight and we fight and we fight and we shut down our workplaces. We shut down our schools. We shut down the streets. We shut down business as usual. And we fight until we force the people in there to do what the people out here want. Because that's how we're going to get around and we're going to fight until there's not one more bomb dropped not one more bullet fired, not one more co a soldier coming home in a wheelchair, not one more family slaughtered, not one more day of U.S. imperialism. So let's fight to make that happen. We can do it today, and in the days ahead, we have to fight to end these wars and create a better world system, brother. So join us in that fight. Thanks. And, you know, um, sad to say, but I already know this group that's standing behind him, half of them may be uh, killed, killed off. You just point blank period. They don't like this, but you can you can hear the passion that's in his voice. He's been overseas. He's fought in these countless countless wars. A lot of these guys, y'all see why they come back and they're, they're mentally unstable. Um, a lot of them are on the MK Ultra. They're also making super soldiers. We'll get into that. They also have man. They have a lot of stuff, man. Look, that the, the technology. These fallen the fallen angels, the fallen angels, y'all. They came and they're really implement a whole lot of technology into the world. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get so advanced. Um, but yeah, this guy right here spoke with passion, man. And um, I 100% feel where he coming from. If the U.S. is using uh, like millions and 600 million a day on wars, that money could go to a lot, man. Especially when you know the wars are for nothing. They're for nothing, man. So we'll go to this vid right here. <clears throat> This is another whistleblower right here. And let's play this guy's vid here. Good afternoon. My name is John Michael Turner. I currently currently reside in Burlington, Vermont. I served with Kilo Company, 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines as an automatic machine gunner. There's a term, uh, once a Marine, always a Marine. But there's also the term, eat the apple, F the core. I don't work for you no more. He took his badge off. He took his medals off through it. And he basically denounced uh, his soldiership, if you could say. But I don't know if the oath that they take, if they can break that oath. I don't even know how deep the oath go. I just know it's an oath to the Baphomet, an oath to the star, an oath to uphold uh, bullcrap. That's what I know. But he just he basically denounced it. So but he finna get into telling y'all how they were over there just killing people for the sport, raping the women, everything. That was John Michael Turner stripping his medals and ribbons from his chest and throwing them into the audience to the applause of attendees at Winter Soldier. Turner then went on to describe some of his time in Iraq. On April 18th, 2006, I had my first confirmed kill. Uh, this man was innocent. I don't know his name. I called him the fat man. Um, he was walking back to his house, and I shot him in front of his friend and his father. The first round didn't kill him after I hit him up here in his neck area. And afterwards, he started screaming and looked right into my eyes. So I looked at my friend who, was, who I was on post with, and... I said, well, I can't let that happen. So I took another shot and took him out. He was then carried away by the rest of his family. It took seven people to carry his body away. We were all congr congratulated after we had our first kills, and that happened to have been mine. My, C uh, my company commander personally congratulated me, as he did everyone else in our company. 
So basically, he's just describing his his experiences while he was with this corrupt organization called the Army, U.S. Army. Basically, he said he went over there, he killed the innocent man, man walking up with his family and stuff like that. He said it was a very heavy set guy. He he just fired on him, hit him in the neck, everything like that, and they, you know everybody was in shock. And it's like, look, they over there, y'all. They they ain't, they ain't got much to do over there. Sometimes he gonna show y'all how they just took target practice into a mosque. They just shot up a mosque over there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, cause they cause they were angry. That's what he gonna say. They were angry. Stuff wasn't going their way. They just decided to shoot up a mosque. This is the U.S. Army that y'all you know that that y'all give coffee discounts to at Starbucks. Starbucks. All these discounts to around here and th this is the thing we are study blessing the enemy we study blessing the enemy the u.s army is the enemy right here on our own soil and we bless them Teresa martin killed her daughter and y'all blessed her see what i'm saying but the, only the demons blessed her though you got to understand that demons will bless demons but also a house divided shall fall this is the same individual who had stated that whoever gets their first kill by stabbing them to death will get a four-day pass when we return from Iraq. Oh yeah, so they so they they had games over there. Whoever can get a kill stabbing somebody to death, I give you a four-day vacation when we get back home. They they over there making games, y'all. They bored. I thought they was looking for weapons of mass destruction, right? And then he gonna tell you, look, whenever we saw a video camera around. We did everything by the books. But when no video camera was around, we went haywire. That's what they do. There's one incident where we got into a firefight just south of the government center, about 2,000 meters. We had no idea where the fire was coming from. And the way our rules of engagement were, pinpoint where the fire is coming from and throw a rocket at it. So with that being said, we still didn't know where the fire was coming from and an 84 millimeter rocket was shot into a house i do not know if there was anyone in it we do not know if that's where the fire was coming from now they over here making up games y'all look so the guy just said we supposed to pinpoint where the gunfire is coming from and then we throw a rocket into it blast a rocket into it basically I'm gonna tell you what they had. They was out there doing, man. Whoever the general is, whatever they out there bored. They got a sniper out there taking shots at these guys, man. Know that these guys are newbies, shaking them up and got them killed. Man, look, man, they out here playing, y'all. Basically, that's what it is. But they killing people though. Over there playing, and then we back home. Like, who? I hope they over there winning that war, man. They ain't over that war, man. They playing, man. They bored. They killing folks, man, for no reason. Raping people, robbing people. That's what was done. <coughs> Please go to the next image. This man right here was my third confirmed kill. As you can see, he was riding his bicycle. This later on in the day, we went ahead and uh, we had CBS Laura Logan with us, but she was with the other squad. And so she wasn't with us. So myself and two other people went ahead and took out some individuals because we were excited about the firefight we had just gotten into and we didn't have a cameraman or woman with us. With that being said, anytime we did have embedded reporters with us, our actions would change drastically. We never acted the same. We were always on key with everything, played, did everything by the books. So the man on the bicycle, he was left in the street for about 10 minutes until we realized that we needed to leave where we were. And his body was dragged about 10 feet to the right of him, where his body was thrown behind a rock wall and his bicycle was thrown on top of him. Y'all see what they doing? They got bored. The man came through riding on his bicycle. They just sniped him. Boom, in the head. Not only that, they drug his body, throw it behind the rock, and throw his bicycle on top of him and kept it moving. Are these same people? I mean, but but let a, a blood or a crip do this on American soil. And he they, they the worst of the worst. But a soldier can do it and get away with it because why? Oh, that's Starbucks coffee. That's why. Another thing that we used to do a lot was recon by fire, where we would go ahead and try to start a firefight 
if we felt threatened in any way, shape, or form. There's one particular incident where we were working with the Iraqi army and the Iraqi special forces in downtown Ramadi. And with our squad and the Iraqi army, there was also lieutenant colonels, majors, first sergeants, and sergeant majors. Sorry, sergeant major. With that being said, the Iraqi army would go into the house, kick in the doors, and then go ahead and shoot. And there were loud, loud bursts of machine gun fire. We thought we were taking fire, but then we later found out that it was them. Um, house raids. Because we were a grunt battalion, we were responsible for going on several patrols. Uh, a lot of the raids and patrols we did were at the night around three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I'm gonna put this link uh, a little bit later in the description. Y'all can hear how they used to raid the houses over there, certain little villages, little cities, and just basically like the people were begging for their lives. They would kill them. You know what I'm saying? No remorse, no hearts, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And in their head, they're doing this for the better good of the land, right? Wrong. Wrong. And you know. <clears throat> We're going to keep on digging into it, man, so we'll see the truth about the U.S. Army, these soldiers, so to speak. And we're also going to start indulging in judges and their stand. My, my take on um a judge, a judge here on earth, you know. But we all know who the true judge is. But I'm going to also put this in. This guy's name is John Michael Turner, Iraq War veteran. OK, he had a lot to say. Put this link up in there. All right. So. They, yeah, just right here. Let's go to this other vid here. Now, this video right here is from a guy who has been uh, basically living off the grid, y'all. What I mean by living off the grid is... Um, he doesn't use certain amenities that um, we use in our everyday lives, like, you know, certain electricity, all that. His electricity and power sources come from solar panels, like the solar panels to the left, everything like that. Uh, basically, he is in survival mode before everything kicks off. He's in survival mode. And he has a, a really nice channel. Um, I think he has about 50,000 subs. And uh, this is a guy that I'm um, supposed to be probably interviewing tomorrow. I hope I hope it actually, you know, comes to fruition or whatever. But I'm gonna let him explain to y'all. Um, the title of his video here was 90 percent of you will go to FEMA camps willingly. And this is why. Now, if you don't know what FEMA camps is, I will do a video on FEMA camps to catch up on it. But if you already know what FEMA camps is, then we can just listen to this video from this guy. We're going to go into this video. I wanted to talk about. Uh, yesterday, I put up a video about we'll get on the, on the bus for when FEMA comes around for roundups. It was pretty pretty much a resounding no. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game, and I'm gonna be the devil's advocate here. What if I told you that ninety percent of the people that commented yesterday's on yesterday's video. And said, absolutely not. I'm not going. I'll shoot him first. Blah, 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 blah. What if I told you that 90% of you will willingly go to FEMA camps, if they have FEMA camps, lay your guns down, and beg for help? What if I told you that? You'll say, Prepper Nurse One, you're crazy. We're not doing that. All right, we're going to play the devil's advocate here for a minute. And I'm the government. I'm not going to waste the resources of rounding up people not going to do it it's a waste of time and energy you're going to have people that are going to fight and say no i'm not going whatever okay so i'm not going to waste my time doing it now who, who will they round up let's be realistic let's see who, who will look we're going to go a little going to go around on this subject a minute if i'm the government people that i'm going to round up are the troublemakers preppers are really not troublemakers guys we're just people to get ready. And yeah, uh, they this guy right here calls himself a prepper. And on his side of the YouTube community, they call themselves preppers. And what they do is they're getting ready for 
what we would call the New World Order or um, martial law. And they're getting ready uh, for the FEMA count roundups. And they're basically just living um, in a way that they can still survive and maintain after everything kicks off, which we don't know if it, it could be tomorrow. It could be whatever. But these people, they call themselves preppers. Okay. So we're not really considered troublemakers. The troublemakers are your Antifa groups, your Black Lives Matter groups, uh, the people that are like super, super anti-government and looking to cause trouble. Okay. The ones that are trying to organize these rallies to protest government because the government is so horrible and all this type of stuff. Those are the people that are going to go after. All right. They're not going after the average Joe citizen. All right. Now, that being said, why are you going to willingly walk in, lay your guns down, and give up? Why are you going to do that? Because if I'm the government, I'm going to control things. And basically, the government is going to be more concerned about controlling the big cities and, uh, you know, uh, larger towns and stuff like that. So they're not going to worry about, you know, everybody else. Okay. What they're going to do is they're going to starve you out. Okay. If I'm the government, I stop the trucks from running. I stop the food supply. So he's saying, look, when they come with these FEMA concentration camps and y'all see, and we all know these Walmarts that they're emptying out. And notice when they empty a Walmart out, they never tear it down. Y'all notice that, right? And a lot of times when they empty these Walmarts out, you go back to them, they got barbed wire around them. Barbed wire. They're turning, and already a Walmart looks like a uh, army, army type setup. Over there where you got the, uh, you know, every Walmart got the area where you got the flowers, everything like that. It, it, all this like an army. It, it looks like an army setup, kind of like all Walmarts. They got the same concept, same layout, same platform, everything. When these they empty these Walmarts out, man, they clean them out. They put barbed wire around them. These are going to be the a lot of the FEMA camps that people will be shipped to. You better believe that. Um, <clears throat> they won't control, y'all. They want total control. I told y'all. Remember NWO in wrestling? NWO, New World Order. Remember that? Oprah Winfrey has the own television. Backwards is NWO, New World Order. Y'all better get with the program. Y'all better get with the program. So what this gentleman on the screen, this wise gentleman on the screen is saying here, that's how they're going to get people. They're going to starve you out. Now, what he's about to say is very interesting. What if they do stop the trucks? going to walmarts and the trucks going to your, your your local uh grocery stores if they stopped them trucks from running for a week straight every store would be empty in a couple in about four or five days because people are going to go out they're going to buy up buy up buy up buy up buy up how long you think gonna take to empty them stores out when they stop the trucks and then they're going to tell you look if you want food you want shelter you want your own section in these FEMA camps? Come early. First come, first serve. Everybody else will have to stand up outside. If you get here early, though, you can get you a little compartment. I know you're hungry. We got sausages in here. We got bacon. We got everything. We got fish. Oh, it's tilapia. I know y'all hungry out there. This is when you have to love your neighbor as you love yourself, as the word of God say. Because we will have to be helpful. We will be helpful to each other in, in this, this day and time. Prep yourselves, y'all. Prep your hearts. Prep yourselves. Prep your hearts. Supplies. I stop, you know, like I said, fresh water that can be easily cut off as well. And, and this is another thing right here. How many of y'all can go from bank account full of money, eating what you want, air conditioned, Everything, all, 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 all these, uh, you know, perks. How, how many of y'all can go from that to nothing? From from 100 to zero within a couple of days. How would you react? Would your faith die out? Would you run to them so that they can be your God? Where would your faith go? That, that would be the ultimate test of faith, man. Can you still be happy or still be kind to your neighbor when, when, your, when your stomach touching your back? When, 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 when you got to feed your kids, you got to feed your family, you don't know how it's going to come, how it's going to go. Do you give in? Do you pray to God? I mean, what do you do? Prep your hearts, prep your minds. Well, so now 
how long can you hold out with no food, no fresh water, and stuff like that? Okay? How long can you hold out? Eventually, you're going to run out of food. Eventually, you know, you're not going to be able to um, do those things that you want to normally do. If, if you really realize how much day-to-day -day that all of us rely on the grid, rely on society, if you will, even if we try to be separate from it, okay? But the thing is, if it comes right down to it at the end of the day, if they cut off that food and they cut off, you know, and that, realistically, that's all they got to do is cut off the food. You stop the trucks from running, and eventually you're going to starve people out. And people are going to come down, and they're going to willingly give up their weapons for help, for food. People are going to do it. It is a, not a matter of if they'll do it. It's a matter of when and how long it would take. So the government doesn't have to waste the resources or the manpower trying to hunt all of you down. Uh, now, that, that that's being more paranoid, okay? I'm not a paranoid person. I don't think... You know, I, I, I'm not a, I don't trust the government, don't get me wrong, but I also am of the mindset is, you know, I am a small fry. Yeah, I make YouTube videos and I talk about prepping and living off grid and how you should be ready and try to be as self-sufficient as you possibly can be. And, you know, that that is very, very important in my opinion, okay, because you need to rely on yourself, not on them. If they stop the trucks from running tomorrow... There's no more trucks going to the grocery stores. Those grocery stores are going to get cleaned out in a heartbeat. And then there's going to be nothing. Look what the government down in Venezuela is doing. That's how you control the people, folks. You control them with food. Okay? If you are not prepared for a long period of time to and then basically have enough time to get your gardens going, get your livestock, you know, um, making sure that they're breeding and you're getting, you know, eggs and... And this is my thing, y'all. Um, it's nothing wrong with being cautious. There's nothing wrong with being overly prepared. You know what I'm saying? Um, my adopted mom, she used to, uh, you know, do a lot of gardening and stuff like that. And I used to hate to get out there. You know what I'm saying? And, and have to till the ground. You know what I'm saying? Put your seeds in, water, all this. I, I, I used to hate to get out there. But... I used to like to see the end result when I was little. The pumpkins, tomatoes, squash, you know, all this stuff. I, I used to love to see the end result, but I used to hate doing the, the prepping and the work and stuff like that. But what she was showing me was how to be self-sufficient, how to break up the ground, you know what I'm saying? How to properly plant seeds, how to properly water them, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of seeds, you can't you can't bury them close. You have to bury them within like a feet away or two feet away because it won't grow in right. A lot of them, they they tell you don't 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 bury certain seeds close. You need to know certain things like this. You know what I'm saying? This comes along with farming and being self sufficient. Now, a lot of people may laugh at people who are prepping themselves. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you buying this? What? But it won't be funny if they if they stop the trucks from going to the stores today. It won't be funny then. Then they'll be running to you. Hey, what kind of survival techniques did you do? do, do? I'm sorry I laughed at you way back, man, but what's going on, man? I don't understand, man. Help me out, man. No, nah, you was laughing at me, Joker. You was laughing, but y'all, this guy on the screen right here, man, I'm also put this link in the description box after I do the live so you can go back and check it. I'm, I'm trying to have an interview with this guy on my panel. He said he'll do it. We're just trying to hash out the date so we can talk about a couple things, man. So we can discuss a couple things, <clears throat> all right? And boom, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? We go here, y'all. Uh, right, I go right here. <clears throat> now, before y'all say, oh, man, he using straight drop video. He using, listen, man, these videos ain't copyrighted by nobody, man. You feel what I'm saying? These videos are copyrighted by nobody. Nobody can copyright a live video, Facebook Live, whatever. They cannot copyright it. But anyway, um, even if they did, they had to go through the legalities. But anyway, I'm presenting this because I want to show y'all jokers, man, the deception behind all of this. You feel what I'm saying? And um, 
I've already shown my disclaimer. This is in uh, teaching purposes, as they would say, because they don't even say educational purposes. I have to say teaching purposes. All right. To show people the deception behind all of this. You feel me? Nobody owns these videos. You can slap your name across it all day. Nobody owns these videos, man. Now, first off, it's a three minute video. I'm going to just listen to it first. All right. Let's just, let's just, let's just look at it first. Because with all this, y'all, you can't just jump. Don't just jump out in the water. Just watch first. Because first off, there was no mention of nobody being in the car with Zach. First off, okay? They didn't, the only t person they said was rushed to the hospital and died later of his wounds was Zach. Okay. No passenger. Okay. We want to get that out first. And I'm going to tell you, whoever sent in straight drive this information, I was going to say at first, I don't blame him. But y'all know I'll hold my tongue on nothing. Whoever sending him this information with these lies and stuff like that, it's, they know he's going to present it. They know he's going to present it. You know what I'm saying? Just like with the ice machine situation, whatever they send you, him and his email, they just, you know, to make it sound good, he will present it. Because if nobody questions what you present, then, like I said, if 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 somebody loved, if you had a thousand people who loved to see an apple set on the table, you're going to put an apple on the table every day and you're going to film that apple every day. Yes. And then just to spruce it up, you might put two apples on the table. Just to make them feel good. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all feel what I'm saying, but hey. Check it out, though. Straight. It's being straight. You're being used in their social media exploitation. You might know you're being used. You might not. But you being used might bring you something, revenue, whatever. But I'm telling you, my brother. What they sending you, bro, is to keep... Look, listen, I, I they, they know not to send no emails my way. I'm talking about none of this crap, because I already know it's fake. They're going to send it to who they know is going to put it out. You feel what I'm saying? You're becoming like the crisis actors, YouTube, CNN. So whenever they need something to be put out on the forefront, they're going to send it to you. Whether it's somebody on the ice machine, in the ice machine, because they know you're going to put it out. Did he say I don't need no surgery? All right, now notice that. Remember that. He said he don't need no surgery. Remember that. I'm 
said they had to do no So they said his injury is going to heal on his own. They can't do no surgery, can't remove none of that. None of that. They did not do no surgery on this guy. He was shot in the shoulder. Remember that. Okay. All right. I think I've seen him enough. Uh, I noticed he never says Zach. Uh, if I was in a situation and I was in a call with Zach, I would be like, hey, is Zach all right? Is Zach all right? You know, or somebody in the comment section would have been asking about Zach. Come on, man. Somebody had to know that if he was in the car with Zach, he was there with him that night. They asked, they, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on, come, come. come on, y'all. But let me show y'all something, though. This is who I think that is. Let me tell you something, too. I, I, I think this that guy right there who y'all saw that happened last month. It happened last month in Chicago. You feel what I'm saying? Now, the reason why I think that they could have used his live from last month is because, look, he looked like he don't got no friends on social media, right? So maybe it was about two people in his live. Do y'all feel what I'm saying? Maybe it was about two people only in his live, and they saw a perfect opportunity to take this from last month. All right? Make it look more credible. Man, 33. He looked 33, don't he? Huh? He got here look 33, yeah? He looked 33 to me. He looked 33 to me. All right? Man, 33, shot in shoulder and rose. All right? Let's go down. A 33-year-old man was wounded in a shooting Saturday morning in the Roseland neighborhood on the far south side. About 5 a.m., the man was on the first block of West 109th Street when someone in a silver car fired shot, striking him in his shoulder, according to Chicago police. He showed up at Roseland Hospital where he was listed in good condition, <coughs> police said. Area South detectives were investigating shooting. Now, notice this good condition they're talking about. And notice how he said, look, there ain't going to be no surgery. Police said it's going to heal on its own. You feel what I'm saying? To them, that's good condition. No surgery, that's good condition. But they did tell you that he was struck in his shoulder right here. 33-year-old man last month. And notice the person laying right here never says Zach, never says, hey, where, where my brother Zach at? Yeah, yeah. Hey, is my brother Zach alive? Because, you know. And then, you know, the original news reporting of Zach only said that Zach was taken to the hospital and nobody else. Let me tell you, man, if there was anybody else in the car, they would have stated that. Even with a Tupac situation, they still stated that Suge was in the driver's seat. Pac, you know, they still talked about Pac and Suge being in the car. If y'all was going to do the whole Zach Uvelli, you know what I'm saying? Talk about both people if it was two in the car. I'm trying to tell y'all, do not be deceived. Don't be deceived. Because it's so easy to be deceived out here, y'all. It's so easy to be deceived. Mm-hmm. Now watch this, y'all. Watch this, dog. Boom. Boom. Y'all remember yesterday when I was telling y'all, when I was telling y'all that uh, Teresa done went back overseas and now Zach done went back overseas. Zach is back overseas, y'all. Zach, uh, I think is originally from Germany. Zach is from Germany, man. Zach is from Germany, man. But listen to this, though. I know that girl. She is similar. She was similar looking to Kanika and Jenkins. Everybody got to look alike. Whether you like it or not, everybody in this world got to look alike. You might not know where that person is. They could be overseas, but you got somebody in this world look just. They could be overseas, but you got somebody. In Everybody got to look alike. Whether you like it or not, everybody in this world got to look alike. You might not know where that person at. They could be overseas, but you, they could be overseas, but you got, they could be overseas, but you got. 
They could be overseas. Now, this ain't the only person talking about them guys being overseas. I mean, Zach even called himself a German. He said, if you call him an OG, G don't mean gangster. It means German. Don't talk to a German like that. You feel what I'm saying? Back overseas, yo. He killed off his American character, Zachary Stoner. That's what they killed off, which he actually didn't die. Do y'all feel what I'm saying? Everything lining up, man. You understand, man. And let me tell y'all, too. I think I found Teresa's. I think I found Teresa's account. This is either Teresa. Yo. Watch this though. That's so queen Come on. Okay. This is either Teresa or somebody who knows Teresa. Yavate. Y'all remember? Y'all remember I've been telling y'all about Yavate? I said something about Yavate. Yavate. This person been around since the beginning. And they make sure they come on every one of my videos when I'm talking about Teresa and say, man, don't talk about Teresa. Teresa, good. Da, 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 da. Always. I ain't never seen a person go so hard for Teresa. I don't even think Teresa goes so hard for Teresa. That's why I think this is Teresa. Do y'all understand what I just said? I don't even think Teresa would go so hard for Teresa the way Yavate do. So I've been starting to watch Yavate. Watch her, watch her, and watch her. So I know that she's over here. <coughs> she is on Rebelers May 30th chat. She's in his May 30th chat. All right. The end of May. And Rebel is doing the RIP Zach. You know what I'm saying? Zach Uvelli. I'm pretty sure Zach appreciates this video also. Every video that talks about him. Because he didn't fake his death so y'all wouldn't talk about him. If y'all don't talk about him, he'll feel bad. So y'all talking about him makes him feel good. All right. So you look over here and Yavate is in the chat. She says, morning, General. Hmm. I said, okay, General. Wow. Go down right here. Me feel say Una was coming. So I said, hey, that may be Spanish, but it's not Spanish, right? She said, life is more worth more me general. Me general, right? Me spirit feels yours, and this is why me love you and cause you are humble. So I'm like, hey, this lady ain't speaking no, no, no. Oh, what is she speaking? So I looked it up, man. I find out the lady, the lady got some German ties, y'all. Yabate. So I'm like, everything clashing together now. It, 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 it's either Chilean. It, it, it's like she's speaking, I think, in a Chilean type form, but it's she's mixing German. Chilean German. You feel what I'm saying? And even though these one one is in Europe, one is in uh what South South America, but still though, this lady right here, man, y'all, I'm telling y'all, there's something about that lady Yabate, man. I really believe that that's uh Teresa's other account, man. I've been saying this for a I've been saying this for a long time. And every time I say something, this person never responds. Never responds. Never. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, something about this German overseas little, 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 little situation going on, man. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Then I had somebody uh comment under my video. If the lady put the news report out about Kanika in 2015, then I thought you said she really died. Chose and make up your mind. You ain't listening. You ain't listening. You are not listening. See, don't come in under my video if you ain't listening. You feel what I'm saying? Don't hear what you want to hear and then come in what you want to come in. You feel what I'm saying? Like, listen to everything. Get my whole synopsis. Get my whole side of things. And then you make your comment on my video. So the playing ground can be even. But it's something about this Yavate, man. Y'all, I'm telling y'all something about y'all but tell you, man. Oh, but here we go right here, y'all. <laughs> Zach, your belly, bring your butt here, boy. Bring your butt here. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm telling y'all, man. Zach. Wanted to go out like Pac, man. I'm telling you, you don't you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. I don't care if you do or you don't. Well, I do care if you do because you're in your family. Then I know, I know, I know, I know you're, you woke. But here we go right here. Then we're going to play this right here.
All right. Um, we were just hanging out, taking taking photos at the time. We ran up the street as cops were running past us, and uh, by the time we got here, they were already taking, um, which now I found out was Tupac, into the uh, helicopter away. He had been shot. Hmm. Okay. Into the uh, helicopter away. Into the uh, helicopter away too far down the street um when it happened we didn't know if we heard gunshots or we didn't really know exactly what we heard we heard a lot of screaming um a lot of cars screeching um we were just hanging out taking taking photos at the time we ran up the street as cops were running past us and uh, by the time we got here they were already taking um which now i found out was tupac into the uh, helicopter away he had been shot Into the uh, helicopter away. Into the uh, helicopter away. Mm hmm. This is why the picture with the helicopter was put there, y'all. <coughs> I'm telling you, man, strategic. You. The world is officially being mind raped and they don't even know why or how. <laughs> hey, but everything will come to fruition, right? Yep, it has to. Everything has to come to fruition, y'all. We here though. We are here. Let me get this. Let me hit the chat up for a second. Uh, I'm here. What's good, man? I see some beautiful people in the building, man. Appreciate the 63 likes, y'all. You all are the best. You know what I'm saying? I see we got some new faces in here, familiar faces in here. What's up, Teray? Oh, the chat is booming. Oh, geez, I can't even keep up. Uh, positive movement was good. Cynthia Ficklin, what is good? How you feeling? Uh, educated beauty, how you doing? Tracy, Love, Teray, Black, Nene, Laquetta, Dominique. I was, I said it was some truth to oh man it's going too fast it's going too fast y'all it's going so fast i can't even keep up with the chat but much love to all y'all man much love to all of you all uh as far as the wrenches go i am holding off on wrenches i'm handing out any more wrenches probably until like a week or so you know what i'm saying um but um man i love all y'all though you feel what i'm saying you don't have to have a wrench to rock out with g2g to su support G2G, it's just that I know the wrench has been here for a minute. They've been holding it down, man, and they certified. You know what I'm saying? They certified, y'all. They certified. But uh, I hope we, I hope some light was shed on certain situations, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to get that interview with the guy who's living out the grid. If y'all want to see that interview, if y'all want to hear that interview, put a one in the box. If you want me to have the, uh, bring the guy on the panel who's living out the grid so he can explain some um, survival techniques to y'all and, and let y'all know how he's doing, what he's doing and why he's prepping. And I can actually take some questions from y'all in the chat, man, for him when he comes up. We're just trying to set um, a date for it. Um, I'm trying to possibly do it tomorrow. That's if he's free. And um, it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty kosher, y'all. It's going to be pretty kosher. And I want to just say this, man. Uh, who won that game last night, y'all? Mm. Who want to anybody, any, any, anybody watch the game? Because we all over here supposed to be rooting for the Cavs. Even though we already know, you know what I'm saying, how they rigged the game. We're still picking the Cavs over here, right? I, I hope we all on the same page, right? We're still picking the Cavs. Y'all don't want to see no Warrior fans in here, you know? I don't want to see no Warriors. <coughs> yeah, I, yeah, the Warriors, uh, they finessed us. They finessed us last night. They finessed us. It is what it is, you know. But uh, come out and play, man. Warriors, man. Hey, we, we, it's a seven game series, man. Watch what we do, though. Watch how we come back. Boy, you know I'm from the dub. 
dub. Play hard for the rock. Still got over green boy, young trade mom to the block. Came a long way from the bottom and I ain't far from the top. Raindrops on raindrops, I'm play time with the shots. Don't matter where I go, I'm a rep for the team. Father, son, or holy ghost, still rep like step for the three. Got them hating on your boy like go KC to KD. Tell them run them up, we gon' turn the thunder up on them like gay. Yeah, let's go. Them warriors come out to play. 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 Hold me. 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 They can mess with it. Uh, Tell them we uh, too deep. deep. Shooters coming off the bench with it. Uh, Pick a star and fire, let's get it. Yeah. Make a fan, not the next critic. I make it jam so hard that I break a hand, have to go left. Feeling like a brand new day. New year on a brand new way. Really, I ain't even mad you, hey. Say it to the brand new way. Dynasty, modern day. Whoa, lose. Not today. Had to go. All the way. And again. All the way. All the way. The warriors come out to play. 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 All me.